and SpaceX's Crew Dragon space capsule is docked at the International Space Station. We have a live look this morning at the International Space Station and inside the Crew Dragon capsule. Scientists there are running tests on a dummy after its journey. It made its connection just before 6 o'clock this morning. It was carried by a rocket that took off from South Florida early yesterday. This is a trial run of a capsule that could take people from the U.S. to space as soon as this summer. CBS 4's Amber Diaz has more on the historic mission. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. The Falcon 9 rocket lifted both its Crew Dragon capsule in hopes that Made America Space Travel is back. Ten minutes after a picture-perfect launch, the SpaceX rocket's first stage successfully touched down on a recovery ship 300 miles off the Florida coast. Far, but not out of sight. This photo was taken by a CBS4 viewer from Parkland. The arcing colors of the rocket defined in the morning sky. By then, the Crew Dragon capsule was already orbiting Earth at five miles per second and headed for a docking with the International Space Station Sunday morning. SpaceX founder Elon Musk. A little emotionally exhausted because uh, uh, that was super stressful, but uh, it worked so far. Through next Friday, the Crew Dragon must meet a series of milestones, dock and undock with the space station, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and splash down off the Florida coast. If all goes well, SpaceX could taxi two astronauts to the space station as early as this summer. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. What today really represents is a new era in space flight. On the mission, the only passenger is a dummy, a smart dummy named Ripley, outfitted with sensors to measure the impact of the ride for its eventual first flyers. And it's a six day mission and the Crew Dragon is scheduled to splash down back to Earth next Friday morning. In the newsroom, Amber Diaz, CBS4 This Morning.